In my last video, I have discussed about the formation of cervical plexus and its branches. If you have not seen that yet, I would suggest you to stop this video here and watch it from my channel. Today, we are going to discuss about the distribution of the cervical fascia and its relevance to the regional anesthesia. How the three different cervical plexus blocks that is the superficial, intermediate and the deep cervical plexus block are related with the distribution of the cervical fascia. So without wasting time, let's begin. Here on the screen, you are seeing the transverse section of the neck at C6 vertebral level or above. We can remember the components of the cervical compartment as four Vs. First one is the visceral compartment containing thyroid gland, trachea and esophagus. Next, two vascular compartments, one on each side consisting of common carotid artery and the internal jugular vein. And the last one is the vertebral compartment consisting of cervical vertebra and the muscles surrounding it. When we look at the fascia of the neck, we can divide it into superficial fascia and the deep fascia. First, let's discuss the deep fascia, which is more complex and divided into several layers. Let's draw and understand the various deep fascial layers. First one is investing layers containing sternocleidomastoid muscle and the trapezius muscle. It is splitting and encasing or enveloping the muscles on both sides. Second one is pretracheal fascia. It surrounds the visceral compartment. Next one is the carotid sheath containing common carotid artery, internal jugular vein, vagus nerve and deep cervical lymph nodes. The last layer is the vertebral layer. This is mentioned as prevertebral layer but actually it should be paravertebral or perivertebral layer because it encloses the cervical vertebrae with spinal cord and the associated muscles. Now coming to the superficial fascia which lies between the dermis or the skin and the investing layer of deep cervical fascia. Superficial layer contains the platysma muscle. The superficial cervical plexus block is considered as the field block and consists of a subcutaneous injection of local anesthetic just under the skin because the terminal branches of the cervical plexus emerges as four distinct nerves behind the posterior border of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. While performing a superficial cervical plexus block, the feeling of bounds of the fascia is important just to make sure that the investing layer of the deep cervical fascia is not pierced. In intermediate cervical plexus block, the injection is performed under the investing layer of deep cervical fascia of the neck. Here, a click or pop can be felt when the needle pierces this fascia. The deep cervical plexus block is the deepest injection and involves the deposition of local anesthetic beneath the prevertebral fascia. Most of the surgeries can be accomplished with either superficial or the intermediate cervical plexus block without going into the complexity of the deep block and its associated complications. So to summarize, superficial cervical plexus block is performed superficial to the investing layer of deep cervical fascia. The intermediate cervical plexus block is performed deep to the investing layer of deep cervical fascia but superficial to the prevertebral layer and deep cervical plexus block is performed deep to the prevertebral layer. Please note that the deep cervical plexus block and the interscalene brachial plexus block both require puncture of the prevertebral fascia. Regarding the involvement of the phrenic nerve, in superficial cervical plexus block, phrenic nerve is not involved. In intermediate cervical plexus block, it may or may not get involved depending on the block technique and the injected volume of local anesthetic. And in deep cervical plexus block, it is involved in 100% cases. That's all for today. I have already uploaded the loss of resistance guided superficial cervical plexus block. You can check out the video from i button or link in the comment section. Stay tuned for my next video on ultrasound guided superficial cervical plexus block. Until then, keep blocking, keep rocking.